What's going on guys? I'm Kane and this is Noodle. And in today's video, we're gonna be setting up another terrarium for one of our tarantulas, the Mexican red leg female. Now, I had stated in a video previously that I got a new mic. Well, unfortunately, I didn't realize until after recording the whole setup that my mic wasn't plugged in. So you'll have to forgive the audio, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as I did. So stay tuned and see how it turned out. All right, everyone, we're back at it again. As promised, we're gonna start working on our second enclosure for a tarantula. So I've already got some of my materials here that I'm gonna work with. I've got some fake plants, some wood, some broken up cork bark, reptisol, some salvaged regular sphagnum moss. I've got some black river rocks and some black diamond blasting sand. <clears throat> and the tarantula that we're going to be doing the enclosure for is our red leg Mexican female tarantula. But first, I'm going to have to work on putting the background in. This is just a 40 gallon slate background I got from PetSmart. So one minute and we'll be back with that. All right, everyone. So if you haven't seen my last video setting up Big Daddy's tank, definitely check that one out. But just like that one, I've got the barrier here so we can put a little more substrate in because this is not much depth here to it and I like to give as much depth as we can. So I measured out the background and put it in here and then just kind of shaped this one out to this and got it as tight as I can. You know, pencil, razor blade, tape measure, just the basics. So anyway, with that, let's go ahead and get going. So, same as my last video, we got some Reptisol here. And uh, also same as last one. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this whole bag in here because we know it'll take it. But for this one, I'm gonna do something just a little different. So, we'll go ahead and get this all caught in there. Try to get everything out of the bag that we can. Lots of substrate, always good. Really, no matter what you're working with, it seems like extra substrate. It's just one of those things you can't go wrong with. I think that's uh, pretty much everything but the crumbs. So we'll go ahead and get that kind of spread out. Now this is where we're going to change it up a little bit. Let me get this bag up here. It's a little heavy. So, this right here is called Black Diamond Blasting Sand. I get this at uh, kind of a local hardware store. I call it uh, Tractor Supply. Now, this stuff is inert, so it's not going to do any harm to uh, tarantula. I actually use it in some aquariums, so I know if it's not going to hurt the fish, it's not going to hurt the tarantula. But, uh, Let's see, we might use one of these containers right here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going for more of a... Excuse me for a second, I'll try to get this bag open a little more. I'm trying to go for more of a black setup, because I want to make the red on the tarantula stand out. So what I'm going to do... get some of this black blasting sand here and I'm going to mix that in with my reptisol just to kind of darken up the substrate. I don't know exactly how much I need so we'll go ahead and start mixing this in and see how it starts to turn out. Probably going to take quite a bit, it looks like. I don't know how this is going to look. I haven't tried this particular method. So, we're just going on the fly here. I don't want it to be like a 50-50 mix. But, just enough to kind of add a little shade in there. I 
should have got a better container to get this out with. The container just barely fits in the bag. I don't got enough out where I got to. I can probably lift it up here. It's just a little heavy. Let's go ahead and start mixing that in there. Let's see what we're kind of working out with. This kind of helps it blend in with the background a little more. Kind of same color as that's got going on. And in the process, is giving us a little more substrate. So we can kind of get leveled out with that. I think we could go with just a little bit more of that there. We might be able to get this bag up here. Hopefully we don't make a big mess. But if we do, we'll just sweep it up later. So just something to add a little bit different of a look, kind of different texture in there. Kind of blend in with the background. Give it a little more substrate to work with. But we can kind of bring it up level. This barrier we've got here. Last time, I'm going to go ahead and see about fitting my hide in there. Because last time, I went through that whole process of trying to start organizing and fitting stuff just to realize that I didn't leave enough room for my hide. Now, hopefully, this tarantula will use the hide, unlike Big Daddy who decided he's going to hide behind something in the corner. But if not, you know, like I said before, all you can do is set them up and give them plenty of places to retreat. And, and then from there, you got to let them pick what they want. All right. So I've got a couple pieces of wood here. Only two pieces. <clears throat> I'm trying to go for just a, a little more of a simple look in this one. Nothing too crazy or too wild. So just a little something to add some texture here. Now, maybe something like that right there. It don't look too bad. And then I've also got a few pieces of cork bark that I've broken up into small chunks. So we'll see if we can't incorporate some of these in here to give it some extra texture. Here and there. You know, I'm really just trying to go for a different look, a little bit different of a style than my other tank. I don't want everything to look completely identical, you know. I'd like for everything to have a little bit of its own personality. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't incorporate some of these in here. Maybe. Let's put that one back out. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. And then, I'm not even going to try to lift this bag up there. But, these are just some black river rocks that I picked up from Lowe's. Once again, just to kind of go with the black scape we got going on here. <clears throat> As always, like what I like to do is. I don't really have a lot of form or fashion to what I'm doing. You know, I just try to keep it random, try not to make too many patterns, and really I just start throwing stuff in there. And once I get to moving around, I figure out if I do like something or if I don't like something. I 
just keep tweaking around at it until I get something that I'm enjoying. I wish I had some smaller ones of these stones, but it seems like I've only got like a medium size here. But I just hit right behind there. Oh well. It can stay where it's at. But this is what we got. This is what we're going to have to work with. And I don't think it looks too bad. If I do say so myself. much more in there than that. Maybe like another small one right there. I think that's I think that's probably about as much as I want. Honestly I'm not too much of a fan of that one right there if I'm being honest. I'm gonna take that one out of the Maybe there's a smaller one here. I wouldn't mind as much. Maybe something like that right there. Be too bad. All right, well, we're gonna work with that for now, and then we can go back later if we decide we want to take some away or add some. And here I just got some fake plants. We'll try to dot about here and there just to add a little texture and life to the tank. I said in a previous video when I was setting up Big Daddy's tank, you know, I don't know if uh, live plants really incorporate well with tarantulas, but I'm going to try to do a little more research and see because if they do, I would definitely love to get some live plants going in here. I just feel like live plants really up the ante no matter what kind of fish or reptile you're working with. Let's see. I could maybe just make this into a smaller bundle here. Put this in a smaller knot. Kind of try to bunch it together. There we go. Maybe try to intertwine it and stick here. There we go. Something like that. And maybe just one more piece of this. As a matter of fact, I don't want to stick in this. And I've also got this kind right here. Maybe we'll go with a sprig or two of this just to add a, one more element of texture to it. <clears throat> yeah, I think that looks good. Just one other tidbit of different style of texture to switch it up. Honestly, I'm not liking that wadded up like that as much as I thought. You know, that's what you gotta do. You just keep working away at it. See what you like or don't like. Keep messing with it. Don't get discouraged. Eventually, took a couple of those out here. We'll see if this looks a little better. Yeah, I think. I think that right there. That's a little more well suited. You know, just keep messing with it. And eventually you'll stumble onto something that you like. Something that looks pretty good. <clears throat> I think we got we're starting to get something going here. There we go. That don't look too bad. This one's wrapping together pretty quick. And then this is the last kind of uh, accent. I've got some sphagnum moss here that I had a uh, terrarium that just had too much of it in it. And it was really overpowering the substrate. So I just collected some of it up. So we might just stuff some of this here and there in some corners just to add a, one last bit of texture to the scape. Just something else to kind of change it up.
I'm really excited to be able to get to start putting these terrariums together and you know having the animals is the main fun and they're the they're the whole point but building them a nice ecosystem home whatever you want to call it and really just making it enjoyable to look at that's a big part of it for me too there's nothing wrong with keeping animals and stuff in simple enclosures but when you can give it that extra bit of life and personality it just makes your passion even stronger in my opinion so I'm really liking how this is coming together like I said before I just wanted to have a little bit of a different look than uh, Big Daddy's enclosure so we're not looking at two terrariums that are identical side by side because his is right next to this one and uh, I think we did a pretty good job here and that sand it doesn't stand out a lot mixed in there with that substrate but just that little bit of black sparkle mixed in there kind of switches it up and contrasts off the wall and the black river stones just to kind of tie it all together I tell you what, I thought I was going to use a lot of this sphagnum moss in here. I have not knocked a dent in this container. That's alright. That just means we got more for future plans. I don't know if there's much more spots I can stuff this in here. I'll stuff until the end of the night if I let myself. Just keep adding. You can go crazy with this stuff. But I think I'm going to have to cut myself off here in a second I'll save that as I find another spot to stick some but I think really we've got something looking pretty darn good right here and put just a little more right there and maybe one last spot I keep looking at this little hollow spot right here in this corner and we'll stick some right there all right you know what i have to say i think that looks pretty stinking good so the only thing i might do <clears throat> just to add a little more contrast if i can find not real small ones, but if I can find little smaller sizes of these stones, which seems to be is going to be somewhat of a challenge, but I might stick just a couple more of those in there, just for a little, little extra accent. This one right here. Maybe stick one kind of right in there. <clears throat> Maybe one back in there. Another one right in here. Just to bring a little more pop to it. Hmm. Maybe put one back in there. Maybe one right here. And yeah, I think we're gonna call it right there. So if I don't stop myself, I'll just keep putting more and more stuff in here. <clears throat> Alright, with that, we're gonna get our Mexican red leg tarantula here which I actually haven't even come up with a name for yet. So, if anybody has any ideals for a name for her, maybe drop a comment down below and give me a suggestion. Give me just a minute here and I'll work her up out of here. 
This is her right here. Very beautiful girl. If you have any ideas for a name for her, feel free to drop it down in the comments. And maybe I'll pick the name that you give. I tell you what, she sure does look good in there too. I'm sure she's going to enjoy this enclosure. So with that, let me grab the key and then we'll lock her down. Nice, another addition to the family. Another setup done. And I have to say, I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. So here's a last minute look around so you can see a little better and then there's Big Daddy's enclosure for a comparison so they're right side by side here together now I was hoping Big Daddy would be out with all the shuffling around here he's kinda hid so I'll put in a picture right here of him but for now this new girl is loving her enclosure and looking good in it. So be sure and drop your ideals for a name down below. Well, thanks for watching today's video. Another beautiful setup for one of our animals. Eventually, we'd like to have something this elaborate for every one of our pets. But until then, we'll keep you posted one setup at a time. So stay tuned to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next one.